In this lesson of uh, for Cyber Cafe Pro, we are going to be setting up the accounts and time codes to behave the way you want them to. In the last lesson, we learned how to set up the actual pricing for them. This time, we're going to learn how to set up the options, and let's get to it. To get started, you want to get into your admin account in Cyber Cafe Pro by logging in, which we've done several times now. And then head to the admin screen and go down to setup right here. And go to the accounts slash codes area. So let's get started with number one here. This is the uh, length of time codes which you would like your customers to have. So when you issue a time code to them, it'll be the alphanumeric code with actually any combo of numbers above five that you want. The longer, the better, I guess, but the, once you get into eight, there is just infinite amounts of combos, so eight's usually the, the way you wanna go. The second area is the default time. So when, you're, when your uh, employee goes to create a time code or a user account, it'll basically be the time right here in number two. But if you sell mostly one hour accounts, you want to have that there. Makes makes the steps a little less for your employee each time. Now, number three is to define whether or not you want to allow merging of time codes. So if you have customers who have a 20 minute time code and then they bought another one and they have 10 minutes left, you can give them the option to merge them and in that case, putting two together will give them a 30 minute time code. It's a little step for customer satisfaction, but if you have codes that uh, you don't want people to use beyond the day, then you might not allow that option. Next, we wanna define the minimum amount of time deducted when a user logs in. We've covered this in, in a past lesson, but basically what this is, is every time someone logs in, you deduct a minute to avoid having them log in quickly check their email and log out before the minute or two minutes, you know, um, passes and they're kind of stealing a little bit of time. It's not a huge issue or worry for most locations, but if it is for you, you can adjust it right there. Number five is a widely used area. Um, basically what that is, is overtime mode in general here. It, uh, it allows you to not shut down the computer or the, the PC session, I should say, when the time runs out for the customer. By doing this, you don't, the customer will not lose his work and the time will actually go into the negative and you can charge them more time. It gives them a chance also, or you a chance to approach the customer and say, you want some more time, take some money, add to that time code. So if you choose to do that, uh, once the customer tries to go into another program, the system will shut down, but this gives them an out to save their work or finish their last bit of work. Number six is the time you want deducted when printing. So if someone prints, you wanna have 
you know, a dollar you deducted from the user account, something of that nature. We'll get into this later. Printing in Cyber Cafe Pro is iffy uh, at best sometimes, just based on the amount of drivers that are out there for the software. I mean, for each printer, sorry. It's hard for the software to handle them, but if it does work in your location, then this is a good feature just to be able to deduct time. So for now, we'll just exit this area and we'll, we'll get back to it later. And the final section in here is just giving the customer the option to modify their own personal information when logging in. And you can also require information. So on their first login, the uh, customer information screen will pop in up and they will have to fill in who they are, that kind of information. So that just gives uh, the option right on the client to fill in the customer information and uh, and the options that go along with it. That's really it for the account slash time code uh, section. Quite important just due to the little uh, idiosyncrasies that you want to have set up in your location and how you want your cafe to be run. So uh, take your time, set it up how you like. You can always return later on. Um, the the uh, settings have no effect on existing time codes because they don't actually do anything besides number one here uh, for the length of the time code, but that won't affect the uh, pre-existing time codes. So take your time, set it up, and we'll see you in the next lesson.